This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's kick off this chapter with a little bit of fun, if you will. This chapter is about solving problems and having fun while we're doing it. Now, I already have opened an image called American Flag and Girl, and it is in your exercise files. Now, I've added one thing to this photo spin document. I've added a layer over here that has the American flag in it. What I want to do, or at least try, is make the flag look like it's maybe painted onto her face. That's my goal here. Now, in order to do that correctly, what I need is to bend the map to the contours of her face. And we're going to do that with a displacement map. A displacement map instructs the layer that's got, in our case, the flag in it, how to bend to make it look like it's on her face. Now, the cool thing about the displacement map, and basically it's another file, is that eight or nine times out of ten, it's the actual photograph you're looking at right now that's actually the map. What we're going to do is click the History button right up here. Now, if you don't see this, go up to the word Window and pull down the History panel. This button right here, love that button, what it does when you click it, it creates a copy. Now, I can go ahead and double-click the hand tool. They're the same size, and you can see they're the same image. Get rid of the flag in the copy. We don't need that. We just need her. Go up to the word Image on the pull-down menu and go down to Adjustments and select Desaturate. Image maps must be in shades of gray. It's those shades of gray that will instruct it how to bend our American flag. So with that done, let's save it, and let's call it, well, Displacement. Makes sense. I'm going to save it on the desktop because I'm going to need it again soon, so click Save. Just remember where you saved it. We don't need it open anymore. Let's click and close it and go back to our original that has the flag in it right here. Open up the flag, turn it on, and select it. Go up to the word Filter on the pull-down menu and go down to Distort displace. Now in distort and displace you have a horizontal and vertical scale. Think of it this way, that's the amount it will bend the image based on those shades of gray. If an area of the image that we're using for the map, which is our girl, gets darker or lighter, that influences the bend more. If it gets more into the very neutral grays, it doesn't bend it much at all. Now, the defaults here are 10 and 10. I've got those switched out to 25 and 25. I want a little bit more bend here, but not a lot. Stretching to fit just means do I take the map and stretch it to the image? It's the same image. Doesn't matter. And I don't like wraparound. Well, in this case, I don't anyway, because this part right here is red and that's blue. If this area here bends a little bit as the distortion is doing its thing, it may pull some of the red over here, and I don't want that. So I'm going to say, repeat edge pixels and click OK. Now it wants to know where our distortion image is and it's right here, displacement. Click open. And you can see it distorted the image. Now it's going to make better sense when we begin putting it all together. Go over to the flag layer and change the blending mode to something like overlay. Now you may have to try different blending modes to get the right one depending on the colors but overlay is probably going to work most of the time. I'm going to change the opacity to bring it down to make it look more like it's on her. So we've got overlay and opacity as the two options on that layer. What we need now is to get rid of the areas of the flag where it would make sense, like on her hair, her hand, below her chin, places like that. So we're going to create a layer mask by clicking this button down here. We're going to pick up our paintbrush tool come over here, and what we're going to do with black paint is we're going to paint out the areas that would not be painted. Now, I don't want it on her hand. I just want it on her face. So I'm creating a mask. Remember that. That's all I'm doing here. I'm creating a mask. And that mask is telling me what and what not we'll see in the image based on painting with black and white. Let's go up her chin right about there. Get rid of that area. Come over here and go up this way. Now, the nice thing about doing this with a mask and not actually erasing, which to me wouldn't be right anyway, is the simple fact that if you do make a mistake, 
it would be very easy for you to turn the process around and paint with white to make it happen. So let's lower that down in opacity even a little bit more. Lighten it up just a bit. Let's remove the paint from her eyes. There wouldn't be any there. So let's make our brush a little bit smaller and get in here. And again, we're using black paint on a mask to mask those areas out. And if you go too far, just paint with white and it'll come right back for you. Okay. So we got those areas kind of done. And I don't think you'd see the red on her teeth either. So why don't we go ahead and mask out those areas too. Notice how it bends, almost looking like it might actually be on her face. Let's get that down a little bit more so we can see it more objectively. We could also try this. If you want to try a little bit more, you can go up to the word filter and reapply. Displace right here. Do it again. And you can keep doing that until maybe you see what you like. But in this case, what we're doing is we're using the displacement map filter to make something look like it's painted onto something else. On to the next.